Ending now an amateur fossil hunter has discovered a disgusting yet amazing find on a beach in Denmark. A piece of animal vomit dating back <laughs> 66 million years, that is. A local museum says that the man noticed a strange cluster of lily pieces in a chunk of chalk. Now, he brought the fossil back to a museum where it was uh, cleaned up and examined by a lily expert. The expert says that the cluster contains at least two sp uh, species of lily in a round lump. That lump is likely the ing indigestible part of lilies that were regurgitated by an animal that ate the plants. The museum curator says it was likely a fish that vomited up parts of the lily. So if you haven't woken up yet, here's your Chris <laughs> Six uh, fish vomit shot uh, for your Friday Junior. The fact that it was preserved for what, 66 million years, that is that's a, okay. impressive. That's okay? impressive. If your vomit were to have survived 66 million years, I hope they I had, put it on TV. True. <laughs> if I had to choose a fossil, though, it wouldn't be fish vomit. <laughs> you know, science can be gross sometimes, and we just got to look past it because then they'll take all those pieces of, uh, you know, prehistoric lilies, and then they kind of map where lilies came from. Yeah. And how fish vomited <laughs> back then. Could have come from the other end, I'm just saying. Gross. I'm imagining the colors before it looked like a rock. No, I don't want to, thanks. It's okay, I don't want My to. going everywhere today. Uh, in the words of John Potter, people are eating breakfast. <laughs> That's science, y'all. <laughs> hey, well, um, I'm putting the sash back on because um, my mom might be awake and watching. I want to get in trouble on my Yee. birthday. Um, I've already caused enough chaos today, but... I will reward everyone. We're going to share in some nice weather later today, some sunshine coming to the coastal bend. And we love that, right? We've been doing this, uh, this whole, it's not a phase mom kind of weather <laughs> for a while. We're not going to see the, the emo cloud situation persisting into that weekend forecast. So our Wednesday mantra coming true on a Thursday in that if you just wait a little longer, you get a little sunshine in the mix. All right, well, this, this morning when you head out the door, it's going to be a little breezy out there. We've got this uh, generally south wind that is around 10 to almost 20 miles per hour in some neighborhoods. That's going to pick up a lot more today, and we're still going to see the gusts at times around 30 miles per hour, but there is change not too far away. In fact, some of our more inland neighbors might be waking up to a little bit of that rainfall, and that is a sign of our change on the way, believe it or not. So let's jump into what you need to know immediately as you step out the door. We've got some fog in the area. It's mainly for those coastal neighbors. We're down to a half mile visibility in Port A so far, up to four miles of visibility in Rockport, five in the bluff at AS Corpus Christi. So travels along Highway 35, or if you're taking the ferry, anywhere along 361, uh, the JFK Causeway, the Harbor Bridge, those are going to be some foggy commutes because this is sea fog pinned to the coast. But Perfect tens for other parts of the coastal bend means it is a lot easier to get where you need to go this morning. It's still a good idea, though, to give yourself some extra time. Temperatures are also feeling warmer this morning. We're around either side of 70 degrees. Not too bad. We're about to be a lot warmer heading into this afternoon. A big warm up on the way before a cold front kind of changes things. Now, this is not a strong cold front, so don't get too excited. We are going to see some changes that bring those temperatures down a little bit, but it just makes for a fantastic end of the week and beginning of the weekend. We're seeing some showers across our southern zones just to the west of town. Kingsville's getting a little bit of rainfall. Uh, Alice kind of threading the needle. You have some showers out to the west, out to the east, and along Highway 16 there in Duval County, we have rain stretching from Heavenville up through Freer. So it's a similar situation as you head to the north. If traveling along 37 this morning on the way from maybe three rivers up toward the San Antonio area, all through Atascosa County, we're seeing some of those light showers right now. And B County getting some of that light rain and drizzle as well. But can we take this wide view and map out where the change is? Voila, there's our cold front right along with this rain. Some out ahead of it and some right along that cold front. Notice the clouds ahead and clear conditions out behind it. This is what awaits us. A lack of clouds and plenty of sunshine. It is going to take a little while to get here though and even a little bit longer for those changes of fully take effect. So here's what to expect as we go through this Thursday in your neighborhood. By lunchtime, the rain has moved out. We're in the 70s in the large part. And by the middle of the afternoon, plenty of sunshine for everybody. So that'll take us to the middle and even upper 70s for some neighbors today. And it's really going to be a very nice evening overall. We'll have a few more clouds overnight. That's okay. That will keep us from getting too chilly overnight. We'll still wake up in those middle to upper 50s on your Friday morning. But Friday afternoon, I mean, you got to make some plans. Look at this, 2.30 p.m. This is lunch after 
outside kind of weather looking good. And how about the rest of the weekend forecast? Well, the seven day forecast has 70s in store for us Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And if that's not enough, we'll be back in the 80s as we head on into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. So that is a little warm for February, but we are definitely starting the month off with plenty of sunshine and warmer weather. Make some plans if you uh, need to make up for some of the gloomy, maybe emo weather we had this week. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, all right. Well, hey, thank you so much for joining us on our first hour of Chris Six Sunrise. We really appreciate you waking up with the Hoffmans every weekday. Always. And coming up, we have more news in your neighborhood, plus what's new in sports with Larissa Lisco. We'll be right back.